Good morning, guys. So my family had bagels and cream cheese today, but I've been trying to make better choices. So I decided not to have bagels and cream cheese and I'm making my uh, breakfast here. So I'm going to use um, these sausages. They're called Thin and Trim. Um, they're chicken. This flavor happens to be spinach, red onion, um, spinach and red onion. And these are already fully cooked. They're fully cooked chicken sausages, but they're gluten-free. They're 95% fat-free. They don't have any sugar, um, uh, you know, low sodium, low calories, only one gram of carbs, no preservatives, no antibiotics, no nitrites. So I was like, eh, let me try them. I've tried them before, but not this flavor, I don't think. Um, and I like them a lot. So I'm going to try this flavor. And I think it would be good if I chopped up one inside my eggs and then put some tomato, onion, and melted a little bit of a smoked provolone and made myself kind of like a, like, like an omelet and then have a piece of oatmeal toast on the side. So let's get started. And I'm going to use one whole egg and then just the egg white on the other egg. Okay, so I took out one sausage. I'm going to cut that up in a minute after I put the rest of these sausages away. Over here, I have my nonstick skillet. I spritzed it with a little bit of olive oil and I just brushed it to make sure the oil was spread nice and evenly. So that way, my omelet won't stick. And now I am going to crack the eggs. And like I said, I am just going to use one whole egg and then one egg white. And then I'm just gonna do the egg white, one egg white. Just like that. Turn on the pan. I'm gonna get the toast in the toaster oven. And I'm gonna put this aside. And I'm gonna take the sausage, move the tomatoes aside, move the onion aside, and I'm gonna get my sausage, and I'm gonna cut it up in thin slices to put in the egg. And remember, this is already cooked, so all you're doing is heating it through, but it's already cooked. And you can even saute it in the pan first, if you want it a little crispy, but I'm putting it in the egg, so I don't mind. If I was eating it on the side, then I would probably cut it in half and just crisp it up in the pan and eat it on the side as like a breakfast sausage. But I'm making this part of my omelet, so. There we go. So I have my one spinach onion sausage cut up. This is a little bit of onion that I had in a container in the fridge from making other things. So I'm just gonna cut this up in small pieces just so I can spread it evenly throughout the omelet instead of having a few large pieces. Scallion would be good in this as well, some red onion. And if you don't have onion, that's fine. Just use a little bit of onion powder, but that onion flavor is really, really good in eggs. There we go. And I'm actually going to break up the cheese because I don't wanna put the whole slice on there I want it to be melted on top the whole area, but if I put enough cheese to cover the whole surface, it's too much cheese. So I break it up and then I still get some cheese and every little bite is just a little bit less cheese. So that's all broken up. I'm gonna bring you over here. The pan is nice and hot. That's what you wanna hear, nice and sizzle. Take my onion. And I'm going to sprinkle that in there. Oops, I grabbed the sausage by accident. And then you're going to take your sausage, sprinkle that in there. Got a little bit more over here. Even it out. There we go. Nice. Okay. And then I'm not going to put the cheese until I flip it. So I'm just gonna let that cook. I turned the heat down from high to a medium, and I'm just gonna let that cook. If you wanna speed it up, you can cover it too. 
and that'll help speed up the cooking process on the top. All right, so I'm gonna give it like four or five minutes and I'll be back. Okay, so while this is setting up, I am gonna come over here and finish getting ready the other things that are gonna be part of the breakfast. Tomato, I'm not putting in the omelet. I like some fresh tomato on the side, juicy, cold, seasoned, just like that. And I'm just gonna take a little bit of salt and I'm gonna put a little bit of black pepper on it. I'm gonna put a little, little drizzle of olive oil, just like that, about a half a teaspoon or so. And that's it. That's gonna be on the side with the omelet. It's gonna be delicious. Okay, so my slice of oatmeal bread just came out of the toaster. And instead of butter, I am just gonna put a little bit of avocado that I had smashed up yesterday and it has onion in it, it has some cilantro, it has a little bit of tomato, some pepper, garlic powder, cilantro, and that's gonna be with the butter, okay? So that's the toast. Okay guys, so if you look at this, you could see it is firmed up enough where you can flip it without worrying about the egg pouring all over. So I got my spatula. Sometimes it's a little hard to get the spatula underneath. Okay. Voila. And now I am gonna take my smoked provolone and I'm just gonna sprinkle it on top. And even if some of it falls on the edge and it starts getting melty on the pan, that's okay, because that, that's gonna make it crispy. And who doesn't love a nice cheesy crisp? I'm gonna cover it, because I want the cheese to melt. So the cheese is melting, and the sausage is getting a little crispy on the other side, which is gonna give it amazing flavor. So just give it a minute or two. It'll only take a minute or two to get the sausage a little crispy on the other side, and the cheese melted on top. And then I'm gonna plate it up, and we'll give it a taste. Okay, so this is getting nice and melty. Right over here, you have a piece that's getting toasty, melted crispy on the pan, love that. But let me just show you the other side without flipping it over, because I don't want to put the cheese on the pan. See how the sausage is getting little crispy edges? That right there is delicious flavor. There we go. Spread that cheese back over. All right. This, my friends, is done. Go. Does that look yummy? And voila. Breakfast is served. So, we have tomatoes. Fresh, juicy, yummy tomatoes with olive oil, salt, and pepper. We have some oatmeal toast with some avocado that I have on there. And we have this chicken, spinach, onion, sausage, omelet with a little bit of smoked provolone. Okay. There we go. Cut into it. You don't even need a knife. You can just cut it with your fork, but here we go. We got the stringy cheese. Look at that. You have the yummy sausage on there. So good. Mmm. That is really delicious. Very delicious. That sausage is so savory. And with the egg and the smoked provolone, delicious. Mmm. A little bit of juicy tomato. Mm-hmm. This is very good. Very good breakfast. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you give this a try. And even, even if you don't use smoked provolone, you use a cho uh, cheese of your preference. But the concept of putting some healthier chicken sausage in your eggs 
some fresh veggie on the side, and an alternative to butter. Thanks for watching. Bon appetit. Bye.